Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we are going to solve this given quadratic equation by these three different methods. Completing the square, quadratic formula, and by factoring. And now let's go ahead and solve this given quadratic equation by completing the square method. The very first thing is make sure you have only x variables on the left hand side. That means this negative 10 must go on the other side. So that means we're going to be ending up with 3x squared minus 13x equals to this negative 10 is going to become positive 10. So the next step is this one over here. Look at our leading coefficient is 3, isn't it? We want to make sure that this must be 1. So we are going to divide this one this number by 3 to make it 1. If you divide this one by 3, you must divide across the board by 3. So that means we're going to get 3 over 3 is simply 1x squared minus 13 over 3x equals to 10 over 3. So far so good. Now I want you to focus on the coefficient of x which is this number. Don't worry about this negative sign. Only I'm interested in 13 over 3. I'm going to write it down over here. 13 divided by 3. And the next thing what I want you to do is I want you to multiply by 1 over 2. So that is going to give us 13 times 1 is 13 divided by 3 times 2 is 6 at the denominator and final step is I want you to whatever you got this one you square it so whatever quantity we got we're going to add this one on the both side of this equation so I'm going to write down x square minus 13 over 3x plus equal to 10 over 3 plus now I want you to add this 13 over 6 square and 13 over 6 square and now let's focus on the left hand side this represents a complete square and we're going to be using this formula a minus b square equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square so I can write this one as x minus 13 over 6 square equals to on the right hand side is going to be a 10 over 3 plus 13 square is 169 over 36 and on the right hand side these fractions I just simplified them right up here and I'm gonna just simply write down x minus 13 over 6 square equal to the when you simplify them that's going to become 289 over 36 and next we want to get rid of this square so I will be taking the square root on both sides over here and over here as well this square and square root undo each other we simply got x minus 13 over 6 equals to positive or negative 17 over 6. And here uh, square root of 289 over 36 I just simplified over here. You can see how I did it. So we are going to move ahead with the next step I want you to split these two before we do this one I want you to isolate x I want you to move this 13 negative 13 over 6 on the other side so that is going to give us x equal to this third negative 13 over 6 become 13 over 6 
plus or minus 17 over 6. Now we can split these two positive and negative signs. So that is going to give us 13 over 6 plus 17 over 6. The other one is going to be 13 over 6 minus 17 over 6. That is, we have the same denominator 6. So 13 plus 17 is going to give you 30 divided by 6. So x equals to 5 is one of our solution. Here I'm going to do the same thing over here. So here 13 minus 17 is going to give you negative 4 over 6. So x could be reduced to negative 2 over 3. So thus our solution set turns out to be negative 2 over 3 comma 5. And in the next step we are going to solve this given quadratic equation by quadratic formula. And here is the quadratic formula that we will be using. Before we get started, I want to make sure that this given quadratic equation is in a standard form that is indeed. So let's identify A, B and C. In this case, A is 3, B is negative 13 and C is negative 10. Now we're going to fill in the blanks in this given quadratic formula. So X is going to be minus and b is negative 13 plus or minus square root of negative 13 square plus uh, minus rather 4 time a is 3 and c is negative 10 divided by 2 times 3. Let's simplify more. This negative and negative become positive 13 plus r minus square root of negative 13 square is 169. And here when you multiply these one that is going to give you plus 120 divided by 6. Let's simplify furthermore. So 13 plus r minus square root of 289 divided by 6 and that is could be written as x equals to 13 plus or minus square root of 289 is 17 divided by 6. Let's move ahead with the next step as you can see we have a two signs positive and negative sign I'm going to split them up with this signs so first is going to be 13 plus 17 divided by 6 the other side is going to be 13 minus 17 divided by 6 so on this side it's going to be a 30 divided by 6 is going to be x equal to positive 5 here that's going to become negative 4 over 6 that reduces to negative 2 third so thus our solution set turns out to be a negative 2 third comma 5 and finally we are going to solve this given quadratic equation by factoring method before we go any further i want you to look at the leading coefficient is 3. Whenever we have a leading coefficient other than 1, we have to be very careful. So we want to find the factors. I want you to just put down two parentheses right up here, the way I did this one. Now I want you to focus on this part only, 3x. Don't worry about this exponent. I want you to put down 3x right here and 3 x over here. And in the next step I want you to multiply these end numbers 3 times negative 10. When you multiply them that is going to give you negative 30 and your middle number is negative 13 that is going to come 
go over here at the bottom. Let's now find the factors of negative 30. And here I just put down two factors, 3 times 10, the other one is 2 times 15. Those look like a very plausible or feasible factor. If I put down 3 and 10, if you just put it down this thing, that is not going to work because of the signs. So let's try 2 and 15. So that is going to work 2 and 15. The only thing is going to be, this is going to be a negative 15, this is going to be positive 2. So our two factors are positive 2, negative 15. If you multiply them, you're going to get negative 30. And if you add them, you're going to get negative 13. I want you to just put down right up here. The first factor is plus 2. The other one is negative 15. And as you can see in the very first parentheses, there's nothing in common. So just leave it alone. In the second parentheses, we have uh, something in common between 3 and 15. So 3 is in common. So our GCF is going to be 3, by the way. So I am going to divide this second parentheses, both terms, by 3 to make sure that nothing is now in common. So let's do this one. So that is going to give you... 3x plus 2 in the first parentheses and this 3x divided by x is going to be 1x minus 5. So these are our factors for this given quadratic equation. Let's put down these, these factors over here. So I'm going to put down 3x plus 2 times x minus 5 equal to 0. Let's now split them up because 2 factors equal to 0. I can say 3x plus 2 equal to 0 and x minus 5 equal to 0. So that means x is going to give you negative 2 over 3 and here x equal to Thus, our solution set turns out to be a negative 2 third and 5. And finally, here is your assignment. Can you do this assignment by these three different ways? You can take your time. Luckily, I have already uploaded this video as well. Please go ahead and check it out and see the correct answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.